And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I'm Javier once again, and I welcome you back to Jack and Daxter and the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we made our way to the Forbidden Jungle. The Forbidden Jungle, yes, that's what it's called. And unclogged from this giant machine that blue power beam that we're going to have to angle back towards the village. But I don't think we should do that just yet. There's still more of this jungle to explore, and you know, we'll make our way to those as we go along. And if I miss any, well, we'll just have to go find them, right? But uh, first, th first things first, why don't we go ahead and jump down? Looks like there's a blue eco vent right over here. There's these weird plants, too. Like, they're just sticking out. They're tendrils with spikes on them. Hitting them obviously is going to cause damage to me, so I think I'll avoid that. Now here's one of those blue symbols again, the blue lightning symbols from before. Ah, Lurker! Hi there, buddy. You're dead. But there's also a very conveniently placed blue eco vent right here that we're going to go ahead and activate, and we're going to go ahead and run. Doing that will, well, get us a bridge, though. A very odd bridge. But uh, why don't we go ahead and jump across it and make our way inside of this weird structure. So, first things first, we could go over there, but I think why don't we go ahead and hop up here first, because on the other side of this area is going to be a few more precursor orbs, as well as a scout fly. It's our third one here inside the Forbidden Jungle. Wow. Oh god. That was, that was close. Alright, so let's go ahead and get my chunk. You do not have to rush up here. Once you activate these platforms, they will stay active. So there's no big worry. Inside of this chest is going to be another blue eco chunk. Make our way up top here. Uh, I had a lot of trouble actually in this area, and not because of like dying, but uh, merely staying on top of platforms. Now I don't understand why this chunk is here when there's a clearly big blue eco vent, but you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and jump on this pad! Uh, you can see we cause a little bit of a shock wave, which he didn't get killed by, which I'm quite upset by. Go ahead and jump up here and we're gonna activate this platform. This platform's a little awkward because jumping is a very bad- oh no. Eh. And no! Oh, darn. You can see why I have trouble with this part. Jumping is a very bad idea. You're gonna wanna, what you're gonna wanna do, which is I found the best method, is turning the camera so that you just have to move sideways to get onto the next platform. Uh, because I will say, clear as a bell, that uh, pressing, that jumping the, pressing the X button to jump is going to just send you flying in one weird direction. All right, so let's go ahead and press this button and go down. This is still part of the Forbidden Jungle, don't worry. But I wanted to come down here first because this is why you want to come to the Forbidden Jungle first of all. So first, as you can see, well, let's point off, this over here is a sealed vent, but it looks a lot like it should be distributing Blue Eco. This is one of those events Kira was talking about, how, you know, some of the Eco isn't coming through. Inside this structure is going to be somewhere, yeah, so we got a some way, where we will be able to activate that blue Somebody eco. As you can see, these tendrils are down here too, which is really weird because, you know, this is a stone structure. Maybe not stone, but some kind of metal. And it's just, these plants clearly have something to do with it, right? At least, that's my thinking. Let's collect these orbs so we don't miss any. Well, let's keep our way going. Oh, look, another power cell. Neat. You know, never never give up a chance to get another power cell. Well, this machine looks very strange. I wonder what it could be for. Well, aside from that, we got another power cell. Maybe we'll find out what this machine does. Right, Daxter? That's right. Oh, hey. Well then, since we got the blue eco vent activated and now we are supercharged and able, able to open up the next few doors. Uh, real quick, let's go ahead and head over here and activate this jump pad because inside this jump pad are going to be more precursor orbs. Never give up a chance to get more precursor orbs. Seems like a bad idea. Alright, let's just supercharge this eco and activate the next jump pad for more precursor orbs. We are getting a lot of them. Uh, right, we're definitely going to be able to do most of these trades by the time we get back. 
Oh, hello. Well then, I'd like you to meet the first boss of Jack and Daxter. I don't I don't know about if he has a name. I will look up to see if they gave him Oh my god. I didn't know he could do that. What? What? Okay, you know, I mean, you learn Oh, hey. Whoops. <laughs> I I'm having a little trouble here. Okay. Well, that's the first boss of Jack and Daxter. There aren't many bosses as I was about to say, but uh Clearly, he disagrees with that. Like, ah, he, he is definitely important in the scheme of things. All right, so what he's going to do is he's going to send off these little guys who are spiked. You cannot hurt them while they are spiked. You will have to wait. Um, when he hits his vulnerable state, he will put leaves that are going to come, that are going to sprout out, and you need to jump on them in order to attack him. I now know not to get close to his uh, mouth when he's about to charge at me. Though you would think I wouldn't have done that anyway whack him again there are three phases you have to hit him three times and obviously with the last phase he's gonna send three of these little guys after us ow oh hey don't eat me again what he ate me no what I, how am I having trouble oh, I'm gonna meet you here in a minute all right phase three once again uh, I've also known that he doesn't actually eat you um, because he bites at you because you clearly saw that with doing damage to me earlier uh, what's happening is that I am dying, and when you die, that's the death animation. Uh, they actually did a little bit much with the death animations in this game, and I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, the animation quality in this game is second to none. And that's one of the reasons I feel it aged really well. Anyway, you might have noticed that these tendrils around us have just died. All throughout the Forbidden Jungle, all of those spiked tendrils are now dead. Which is really neat. Okay, let's go ahead and activate this blue eco vent and jump up this here to get out of the jungle. Now we have a bunch of blue eco vents. Uh, that is one of the main reasons I wanted to come here first, as I mentioned previously, because it just it activates those, and those are very crucial to, towards your adventure. Uh, you'll be able to not have to. You don't have to backtrack as much if you do that. In fact, I believe that's one of the main ways you can avoid any backtracking at all. Uh, if you come here first, which is really weird because there's not much backtracking in this game. I think that's one of the only instances where you will have to backtrack if you, um, how you say, if you don't get that first, which is very odd, but, uh, not a big deal. Alright, so now that boss is over and done with, ah, spiky doom ball of death. Let's go ahead and see what we can do down below here. I think we're good from exploring up here, but, you know, there's a whole river down below. Let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Ah, Lurker! And another Scout Fly. I don't believe there is a set number of, pre of uh, power cells that you can get in each level. Uh, I will try and find the correlation, but uh, I believe it's just each level is packed differently, which is neat. I'll give it that. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way down this way. If I am remembering correct, no, this is not the way I want to go first. In fact, I want to head over this way. We have to go fight the fishies. Fight the fishies! They will hurt you, like that. And I want to come over here, because there's a guy over here. This part's a little frustrating, too. Let's prepare ourselves mentally. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. I believe we do want to fish. This is a very odd minigame, by the way. Uh, you just need to catch the fish. Uh, green is worth one point, yellow is worth five, as he's probably explaining behind me. So this might be very awkward commentary-wise. So uh, you also do not want to collect the purple eels. Or very evil fishies, as he calls it. 
the charm, by the way, in this game is just awesome. Anyway, all you gotta do is move the net side to side and collect. You obviously cannot miss 20, 20 pounds, which amount to four big golden ones. So I would be very careful with that. Um, it's not too terribly difficult if you focus. Oh, hey. And I, I you do not know how many people I've talked to that have gotten to the end of this minigame and ended up getting a purple fish. It's the worst feeling, by the way. I've done it once. It just ruins the entire ca- Oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna do this once with commentary, by the way, and once without commentary. Fishies! How are they going in this net, by the way? This is just... This is a little impractical. I would not technically be able to do this, but, uh... It'd be really neat if it actually, like... Okay. Okay. It's starting to speed up. Okay. Moving at the speed of light. Do 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 Okay. Well, that's enough of that. It's clearly copying the runaway, guys. There's no need to do this. Fishies. Yeah. Fishy. Oh, come on. Why do they all have to be purple at this point? I don't want you. I clearly didn't show them enough love. Fishy! I didn't. Sh I clearly didn't show those purple guys enough love. Okay, all right. I haven't missed too many. Looks like I'm getting this first try, but don't jinx me. Don't jinx myself. Uh, okay, this is a little frustrating. This is a little nerve-wracking. Yes! You caught two hundred pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised, and you can use my boat at the village dock. Whenever you like. You can also see one another reason why you want to come here first, because now, we, as he just mentioned, we got these speed boats to be able to go to Misty Islands, the place where we turn Daxter into an Otzel in the first place. And anyway, we want to come over here first off, because I believe is there anything over here waiting for us at the side of the waterfall? Uh, it looks like there should be, shouldn't there? Right? Definitely looks like there should be something back here, but there isn't. Any anyway, now that we have that mini game done, we've defeated the first boss in Jack and Daxter. I do believe this is where we're going to end this particular episode off. I've been Avi of Chaotic Reunion, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>